Yeah, I'm here to talk about Battlefield Bad Company and why I think it, this game sucks. And, uh, and the main reasons why I think that the game sucks is because uh, the fluidity of the game has been substituted with uh, destructible environments and uh, that's completely ruined the gameplay for this game. Uh, the fluidity of the game is completely non-existent compared to uh, part two a uh, number of things that you can point out is you know uh, they added a um, a run button you know which you know I can understand a run button but you know uh, if you de if you depress the right analog button for run uh, it continues to run and it keeps running I mean, uh, it doesn't keep running, but you have to hold it down to run. Whereas, you know, it would have been nice if you're trying to copy Call of Duty 4, why don't you just press a button, and and then when you're done running, depress the run button. There's no even, there's not even any stamina for that run button. So you can run infinitely, you know, there's no, there's no, uh, there's no uh, amount of time that you can run out of out of a run button you know I mean that's just not the only thing I'm talking about but you know the, the other issue was the fact that you know uh, the turning radius even if you turn up the turning radius on the character you know it turns really slow so if somebody's shooting you from behind it would take you a second to turn around to kill that person that's shooting you I mean you can see it's it's really slow you know you gotta it's really slow to turn around and shoot somebody. Um, you know the rep. <laughs> the guy walked right by me. See what I mean? He didn't even know the bad guy. So uh, also uh, the weapons are um, uneven. There's no prone in this game. You can only you can only crouch. Uh, I commend them on the the. Uh, the maps. The maps are really nice. You know, don't get me wrong. Whoever designed the maps, I mean, they took a lot of time to do the maps. The maps are nice. But, uh, uh, as far as, like, controllability, fluidness, um, to the game, it's horrible. I mean, I've, I've never seen something that's been completely changed from the first version to the second version that is completely different and has nothing to do with the last version of the game and you know how are you going to spend a quarter of a million dollars for a tournament battlefield bad company or battlefield 2 and then have so many people following the game and then from the next version uh... you completely change the game and it's not what everybody ex has expected from this game you know when you got games like street fighter and Gears of War, Call of Duty series, Halo. I mean, I don't s remember any of these people ever changing any of their series to reflect the, uh, you know, the game, the game type in which they were playing in. I mean, they always kept it the same. You know, uh, and, and and the funny part about this is, is that you know they'll leave a little red icon. Another thing I want to talk about is you no know, one of the things I want to talk about is. They have a little red icon on the guy's body, but yet they don't have, you know, there's just numbers of things. Little red icons on the guy's body when they appear. Uh, the action, the characters run really sluggish and weird, like they're, like they're running in mud. Uh, there's, it's, I mean, if you, I don't even know why you have the run button in there if you have to continuously press on it. The other fact, uh, is the, the weapons are weak uh, oh yeah and then these crate things I mean it's gotta be the dumbest idea I've ever seen in a game I mean it's almost like playing headquarters I mean you know any dummy can realize that all we gotta do is wait for these people to show up at the crates set up a kill zone and they're gonna keep coming and you're gonna keep killing them that's not even a fun game to play it's kinda like headquarters in uh, Call of Duty 4 who the fuck wants to play that bullshit game? You know, it's just fucking stupid. And then they blow up these crates, you know, these 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 gold crates. Uh, 
you know, it's it's dumb. Nobody wants to play that shit. Uh, um, I'm just trying to think of all the stuff that pissed me off about this game that has nothing. Oh, yeah. You know, I mean, there's no proximity talk. I mean, you can only talk in squads. You, you can't talk to everybody in the game. And, yeah, another thing. Also, with this particular situation, uh, what the fuck? You, if somebody wants to run back to an arty st artillery machine and you're in that squad, you have to go, you have to spawn with that person. And you have to um, run your ass all the way back to the fight if, if that person was in the squad and he wants to fuck off and go all the way to the back of the map. I mean, who wants to do that bullshit? The vehicles are slow, they don't move fast enough. I mean, it's like, I don't even think this game moves 30 frames per second or what it does. But it, I mean, and then they put the mini map in the far left corner, which it used to be in the right hand corner. Uh, uh, what else did they do that they screwed this game up with? Yeah, the no talk, proximity, uh, the weapons are not what they say they are in damage to, uh, I mean, you might as well stick with the, the weapons that they issue you right from the beginning of the game, because those are the better ones than what you unlock. I mean, this game is more about destructible environments than anything else. It's just selling how the maps and how you can destroy stuff. There's more emphasis on blowing up stuff and uh, maps and map design than it is an actual gameplay and fluidity of the game in motion. First off, you know, you're in a game uh, and you run as a collective group. Uh, and I think what they were trying to do was compete with uh, Fuel's of Frontline's Fuel of War, and maybe they both, same people had the same idea, and Frontline's hurried up and went and made their idea, and they both fucking suck. You know, who wants to be in a proximity... Uh, only chat with the group that they're in and then stay with that group you don't want to be the whole team and you coordinate 12 people uh, and then when you run with that group everybody's doing what they want to do the gold crates are like headquarters so all I do is wait and set up for people to come and destroy it uh, the fluidity of the game turning radius shooting somebody oh and then another thing you kill somebody and they're in a unit, and then you kill that person, and all of a sudden a guy pops up out of nowhere, and then and then he kills you, but you just looked over there, but he just spawned behind the guy that you just killed. Now these people, oh, like the realism in the game. This is the worst thing that I've ever seen in this game right now, is the fact that people can spawn forward in a group instead of coming from a spawn point. So the fact is is that when you kill somebody or clear out a group you don't even know if you cleared out that area or not because that guy could have spawned in a corner that you just ran by and you saw nobody there but all of a sudden they're behind you and they're blowing you up I mean that's just fucking retarded so I mean I, I don't know how else to put that is that you know that just doesn't make any sense to me. And then, and then on top of that, the leaderboards. Oh yeah, they did a really good job of that. You know, it's like, it's like they totally threw the only thing that they had going for the game out the window. They had a global, they had leaderboards that were from a dedicated server, and you used to be able to look up your stats on the on the opposite website. And now you go to stats now, and and they left in the thing that it was from Battlefield 2 original Xbox where people flip over the Hummer and continue to repair it and then the person with the highest points and that's how they grade the leaderboard you know uh... yeah like one million six hundred and twenty thousand nine hundred and some points and the guys only got thirteen hundred kills I mean what does that tell you they threw that whole Battlefield 2 concept out the window they didn't even care about what anybody said in the past they did what they wanted to do and if you don't like it too bad that's what it is and look at the ranks are corny backwards this game is fucked up it's a piece of garbage